Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a small P.O. Box opening video um, because I actually opened a few things up around Christmas and I didn't put them on my channel. I put a few things on Instagram um, and I also, as you can see for this one, I opened it up and I didn't leave the goodies inside. Um, but this one was from Sasha from Adelaide and I just really wanted to thank you because I love, love, loved everything. Um, and I've already used some bits and pieces throughout my crafts already. So thank you for that. Um, and this one was from Christine Lee. And as you can see, I've already started storing things in this letter for later, um, journal with me's. So I've used this envelope for storing my goodies in. Um, but I put all her things on Instagram and I loved it so much. So say, thank you again for that. Um, and the ones that I'll be opening up today is these. And again, I've already opened up this one. So this was in a nice big package. This was from a lovely lady from Australia. And she sent me a Kiki K planner. So I'm so excited to show you that. I was so excited when it came. <laughs> um, and then these are the little bits and pieces I also got over Christmas. So as you can see, I got a few Christmas cards. And I also got this lovely big parcel from a beautiful lady um, from Japan. And I can't wait to show you what's inside. I haven't opened this. I've only had a little sneak peek. <laughs> So, I'll start with the smaller things first and then I'll work my way up to the bigger things. So, I'll bring the camera back down. So, I've already had a sneak peek of these ones too because I thought they were going to be Christmas cards and they were. So, thank you so much for this beautiful Christmas card. Um, I absolutely loved it and I thought he was so adorable. So, thank you so much to, I'm pretty sure it's Valerie um, from Florida. Um, it's in runny writing, so I hope I said your name right. Um, but thank you, thank you, thank you for that. I really, really did appreciate it. I'm going to pop that one in my journal. The next one here is from Daniela. It's another beautiful Christmas card. I love this Santa so much. Um, and it's just so pretty. So thank you so much for that. I love all these little Christmas cards. I'm going to be putting them all in my journals. The next one here is from Ashley. And I'm pretty sure she was from California. Um, and she's got a few little bits and pieces in this one. I think this one, yeah. So I opened this one up and I was thinking if she reused a mail tag that I sent her, because this looks extremely a lot like my handwriting, I was thinking like, did I send this already to her? But I'm pretty sure this is the first letter I've received from her. But we have the exact same handwriting, I swear. <laughs> so I'll just flip that over. So we got a few little bit of goodies in here. So I really wanted to open that up. I haven't opened this part up yet. No, this is the bag that I got from Dizer. Have we have we exchanged letters before? Because that looks like my handwriting. <laughs> oh, look how beautiful this washi tape is. I love these cacti. Let me see if I can open it. Where does it start? Oh, how pretty is that? I love that so much. Thank you. Oh, and little tea things. So I think this one's little stickers. And then a little, I love tea, I can use that in a lot of my letters, because I said in a lot of tea. And then a little letter. Oh, I can't wait to, re wait to read it. <laughs> okay, lovely. Thank you so much for that. I can't wait to fill out the little mail tag. This last little letter is from Lisa, um, from the United States. And I'll just have to flip it over, because the address is on the front. Let me see if I can get thing, everything out nicely. So I've had already a sneak peek of this one too. So we've got some washi tape here. Um, some memo paper. Some stickers. Some more stickers. Some little games. This is just a little thing that you would slip in like a card or something. Little bits of papers. So I could journal with those. Some more stickers. What's this little one? Uh, a mail tag. And I'll show you this. This is so much fun. Look! So a game. I thought that was such a good idea to add. So the next one is this beautiful big package from Japan. And look how pretty this is. It's so nice and wrapped. I can't wait to open it up. It 
she always sends me the best things. Oh, look. Oh, it's so Christmassy. So here's the letter, and it feels like it's got so much inside of it. It's such a big letter. I think there's something in that too. Oh, look how beautifully she wraps this. Okay. So we've got, oh, how pretty is that envelope? I love that so much. So adorable. It's another little envelope. Oh, with this little paper kit with got a little pom-pom on it. Little sticker. And then I absolutely fell in love with these papers. Totoro, look how adorable this is. I cannot wait to use these. I think I might have to keep these ones for myself instead of sending them out. I'm going to be putting them ones, those ones in my journal. Um, and then we've got, oh, it's a little, yeah, it's a little sticker tag that you'd write like an address on. And then we've got some lovely, they're really thick um, writing paper. So pretty. A little envelope. Some more writing paper. How pretty are these? They all match the little envelopes as well, I think. Oh, so pretty. Thank you so much. Oh, they match. Oh, how lovely. Like little sets. I love that. It's got all these little gift tags inside. I'm not going to open this one up yet, but it smells so nice. Oh, oh how cool. Oh, my goodness. It's Disney stickers, but it's Alice in Wonderland themed. All right, I'm going to zoom in on this one, so give me one second. This one says tea time, and I can put these in with my little tea packaging. Oh, they're just so pretty. I love these so much. I can't wait to use these. Thank you so much for this beautiful package. I loved everything inside, and I can't wait to use these, and can't wait to read your letter as well. You always write the nicest, bit longest letters. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So lastly, I have this beautiful big Kiki K planner. Um, and I can't wait to show you it. I've actually got the same themed um, Paper Lovers book and I really really like it. It was my first Paper Lovers book I ever bought and it was this theme. So it's actually quite sentimental. <laughs> so I'll pop the box aside. So I've actually never got one of these planners before because they're so expensive usually. They're usually around $80 so I was so grateful for this lady sending this to me. Um, she says that she has a big collection, so this isn't a new one, this is actually one of the old ones, and she says she has so many that she wanted to give one to me, which was so, so lovely of her. So they've got all these beautiful pockets here, which I can put all my favourite stationery in. Little notes, I might take this little note thing out. And then I can also put some more things in here, which I love. So I'll quickly flip through it, but I am going to make a video where I redesign this book into more of a stationary book where I store a lot of my favourite stationery. So we've got little stickers for all your little planning ideas. So important, travel birthdays, um, personal information, and um, monthly spreads. And I think they're all monthly spreads, that one. Now I've got a section for meetings, so meeting notes. And I'm pretty sure that's all the same. To-do lists and then to-do list notes. And then these ones I think are just blank. So I'm going to completely recreate this into a planner. And, and then there's obviously a little note section on the back where I can put something in that as well. So I'm going to be um, redesigning this planner for... I think I might either put letters... Or I might put stationary bits and pieces. So stay tuned for that video. I'll be making, I'll be completely redesigning a Kiki Plate K planner. I'm going to have to get a hole punch. Is the only thing I need to get before I make that video. And then this is going to be like a stationary book. Or a stationary planner slash maybe where I put my letters. So to be confirmed. <laughs> but I can't wait to redesign this. And have this as like something special for my own. So thank you again so much for all that. Also, thank you so much for everyone else who sent me letters. I've just got like a pile of stuff here now. Um, and also the two lovely ladies who sent it to me over Christmas as well. So I enjoy opening my letters so much. As you know, I don't accept as many pen pals anymore because I've got so many letters to reply to. But I really do appreciate everyone who sends me a letter. So thank you again. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to 
make some new snail mail packages this year and also open and reply to lots of new mail. So yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!